Gail and welcome back to LowCarbRecipeIdeas.com. This is my grandbaby. This is Maya. You want to say hi? Hi. Hi. Um, today we're going to make a low-carb East Indian curried chicken with capers. In, I'm going to do it in the crock pot. It's pretty pooey out there today. We have a lot of rain. I thought, boy, a crock pot dinner would be really good. And it's just something uh, yeah. very simple. Yes. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. So we're going to put all our wet ingredients in the mixing bowl. So we've got two cups of ripe plum tomatoes. Now I used canned tomatoes. You can chop up your plum tomatoes, but I drained my tomatoes and I got two cups out of the can. So this is the the can of tomatoes I used. It's 796 mils and it, and it works out to um, two cups. So this is the kind I used. And the carb counts really good on it also. Now we're going to add one cup of artichoke hearts chopped. and one cup of chicken broth and we're going to put in one medium chopped red onion a quarter cup of capers that we've drained So I'm just going to set that aside just for a second. I'm just going to take a small bowl and I want my dry dry spices. So I've got two teaspoons of curry powder and I have a half a teaspoon of ground thyme. And I've got my salt and pepper in together. So I have a quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. So I'm just going to mix this up first so it's all combined well and then we are going to put it into this mixture here so now I'm just going to mix this up to get it going and then we'll get Maya to come in and help me a little bit more Maya card. Okay. Why do you do it? We do it together, honey. Let I don't go. want you to spill. Okay, so just... Yeah. I, I did forget a couple of things, so we need to... Maya, you want to help? Yeah. We're going to put a third cup of white wine into the um, ingredient. And then we are going to add my thickener in there. Um, you can use gargum, but you have to be very, very careful with it. Tapioca yeah. works really well also, but it's um, higher in carbs, so I'm just going to use this Thick It Up. It's a Dixie Carb Counter, and you're supposed to use a half a teaspoon per cup. So I'm just kind of doing a heaping teaspoon. So Maya, you want to help put that in? Yeah. Okay. Let's just sprinkle it around. Okay, so I'm going to stir that all up, and then we're going to set it aside, and we'll start putting our meal together. Yeah. So this is the final step. Come on. I have Come on, cheese. Say cheese. Say cheese. Say cheese. That a girl. So I have three chicken breasts here. That's about a pound and a half, and I'm just laying them in the bottom. Ah, la, 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 la. And, and now we're going to put the ingredients on top. And you can put it on high for approximately yeah, three like hours. That. It just depends on your crock pot. And then that'll be our supper. Yeah. Can we have this for supper tonight, Maya? Yeah. So my East Indian curry chicken with capers is all ready to go. So here is my low carb East Indian curry chicken with capers. It's quite delicious. It's definitely different um, and I did something a little different. I've got some mixed greens on the bottom instead. Or you could use zoodles. I know they usually use rice or something and we don't really want that but it is very nice with the mixed greens.
got a nice flavor. Nice flavor with the curry in it. I think you'll enjoy it. It's definitely different than the regular stuff we use or cook. LowCarbRecipeIdeas.com. Try this recipe and try some of my others. You take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.